Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio and in the last video tutorial we saw introduction about Photoshop, what is Photoshop and what are the raster and vector images and what is the difference between raster and vector images and we also discussed that uh, Photoshop is an image editing software and it uses raster images for its uh, work. So in today uh, video tutorial, I am going to uh, give more introduction about Photoshop. So this is our uh, introduction page on Photoshop, and these are my project uh, which I have done in using Photoshop, some post production and some uh, making a thumbnail and uh, 3D views. So uh, in, this is Photoshop uh, CC 2019, and in uh, CS6 also you can use and it is almost similar and these are the uh, projects which I have worked uh, and I can open whatever uh, the project I have worked earlier so suppose if I want to work on this uh, 3D view I can open and it, it depends on your uh, configuration of laptop and you know, Photoshop takes time to open and so this is the default uh, view which I have saved in my last work and you can open by direct uh, clicking on that page also uh, you can go back to uh, previous uh, introduction introductory page by clicking cross at this and you can uh, whatever the projects you are working you can open it from here so let us understand I am going to open this image in Photoshop I am going to click this and it will be opened in Photoshop depending on the file size it takes times and uh, I have uh, done this post production in Photoshop also after rendering in Lumion this is a small project so uh, if you want to uh, make some adjustment you have to first uh, insert images you can also insert images by going to this file this is called uh, menu of the photoshop this is file and you can open your new uh, project from here and it will ask uh, the recent uh, pages which i have used like custom uh, default photoshop pages and a4 size i have used and web most common default photoshop size also you can Suppose I am going to click this custom and I am going to create a new page. A new page will be created, and after this, you can also uh, go and open, uh, go to new tab, and uh, you can open any like uh, if you want to uh, take photo, uh, photograph, you want to edit some images, you can. By default, uh, Photoshop has provided some sizes like landscape, default Photoshop size landscape 4 into 6 and landscape 5 into 7 and here it is uh, some dimensions are given and uh, like uh, you can change the dimensions uh, uh, measurement units from here like inches pixels you can use pixels you can uh, use centimeters millimeters points because and uh, you can uh, leave the, you can change the resolution also the, the less the resolution the less the image quality and higher the resolution the more better is the image quality and also you can uh, background con uh, contents you can leave it to white and you can uh, create this any pages and uh, here it is some print pages uh, which are letter sizes legal tabloid a4 sizes and you can create your own pages i will tell you later how you will create a1 size a0 size using photoshop and also there are art and illustration if you are an artist and want to work on different uh, Poster sizes uh, it is given in by default in Photoshop and if you are making something for a YouTube uh, and Facebook if you are using you can use the way uh, means uh, social network and uh, sizes are given in this Photoshop and also if you are want to work for mobile the mobile sizes are also given here so this is very uh, good in and in Photoshop CC 2000 you can use CS6 also it's a little bit uh, similar and uh, almost it's a similar uh, but little bit uh, there is some changes in CC 2019 
but anyway i am going to uh, my this uh, figure and this is called menu this, uh, the here it is file you can open new one and you can uh, open old one also and also uh, you can close from here you can save as uh, like you are using in other softwares also like save as you can save the file which you are working and um, you can also edit uh, using this edit tool and you can, I will tell you in later tutorials how you will use each of these in your lecture and also uh, you can in the image uh, quality and enhancement you can do it from here like adjustment uh, if you want to increase the brightness and contrast you will go to adjustment like I'm going to uh, uh, already I have in increased brightness you can enhance the brightness more or you can reduce also brightness using it in the contrast using uh, this is called post production in Photoshop these are the basics and uh, there are other tools also like auto tone if you want to change the uh, tone of this uh, uh, image automatically you can use auto tone and you can see the difference a little bit difference auto contrast is for automatically contrast this image so there are a lot of tutorials you can change the image size also from here and i already told if you want uh, a better image quality you have to increase the resolution also you can change the pixels to uh, any inches centimeters and you can leave it like this also and suppose i am going to increase the image quality to 500 so uh, the image quality will improve it will take time and it will, certainly the process has started image will become bigger in size because i have uh, made it to 500 from 300 resolution so please uh, wait for a moment it goes so uh, it is taking time because i have increased the resolution of this image but you will see the difference it will become more clear and uh, from 300 i have made 500 so you can see if i am making zoom out the pixels are not uh, fading and the image quality is a lot better because i have used 500 resolution if you reduce it to uh, to lesser uh, uh, size so image quality will uh, will go uh, image quality will be lost suppose i am going to make it to uh, lesser uh, from 500 I am making it uh, 60 pixels for inch so you can see the image size will reduce and if you will uh, zoom it the image pixels will break it is, it is not that much clear you can see pixels are coming out so uh, the better the resolution the better the image quality and also uh, there are many other things uh, like uh, and all that we'll see and uh, these are uh, the menu which we'll see later and here are the this is called toolbar toolbar which are used in photoshop you can move it to anywhere if you want to adjust this uh, there are a lot of tools which are used in architecture this is so suppose this is move tool this is a rectangular market tool optical market tool single row market tool and uh, this is a uh, lasso tool polygon lasso it is used a lot of in architecture and there are pen plus tool and crop tool also and we'll see each, uh, for changing background there is magic eraser also these are these are all are toolbars which are used in architecture and uh, this is called a uh, background color and you can change the background color from here if you want any other color you can change to this color and you can uh, use in uh, your soft uh, that I will tell you how and this is called uh, background color this is foreground color so the upper one is foreground and bottom one is background color and the right side these are the tools like uh, history brush tool and all and you can uh, use 3d also and this is the layer command which is uh, used lot in uh, uh, Photoshop and mostly we'll work on layers and this is the background color which we have just inserted and if you want to create new layer you can create a new layer from here by going to this create new layer 
and you can create a layer from here also and you can make a group of layers also by creating a new group mostly we use layer and this layer you can simply go and get this you can create by creating new layer from here and if you want to uh, make a new background i will tell you how we will do in later video tutorials so for creating layer you have to go to here and for deleting you will just click and delete and this is uh, the mask add a layer mask which will uh, this is also handy in architecture i will tell you later and uh, these are the uh, means uh, if you am clicking on this uh, rectangular marquee tool so the, there are some adjustment which are coming here if you are selecting uh, aso tool there are some uh, settings which is here and so this is the main space which is uh, required and you can also go to a window and you can bring more uh, uh, tools from here suppose if i want to make a learn bring this learn or some color i'm going to select this color so you are seeing colors and swatches has come and roughly uh, it is available in all photoshop and you can edit also again you can go to your window and bring color from here so these are the settings and uh, you can also right click and close it from here and uh, you can also change this color from here like suppose i want to make yellow the foreground color will really change on the pink and you can uh, close it from here to tab and again you can bring it color from here and change it from here also and uh, mostly uh, we use i i mostly use from here i go and change the color from here so uh, these are the settings and uh, also there are some added uh, in edit there is uh, some preference you can go to uh, preference preferences in the bottom and you can change the settings like general and you can uh, you can check the performance of your uh, photoshop and you can uh, also uh, change the workspace setting you can also do interface setting here and you can change the color of this suppose uh, this is a uh, dark gray and if you want to light gray you just go and select this and it will become uh, light gray you can make white also and so i am making it default i like the default setting of this photoshop so uh, you can also use uh, alt key for uh, zoom in and zoom out your image suppose i am pressing alt on my laptop keyboard or desktop keyboard and you can zoom in or zoom out your images easily and if you leave alt key the image will not if you scroll your mouse image will not move so for moving image to make it uh, smaller you have to use alt key to zoom in and zoom out so this was the tutorial and in the next video tutorial we see more tools about photoshop